At the beginning of 2022, I bought this fixer upper condo in downtown Vancouver. It was an amazing intersection of challenges and blessings. It was definitely a bonding project for me and my dad as we renovated it from scratch, going through many, many, many floods and natural disasters. It was such a creative challenge because I got to design and decorate the apartment of my dreams. And finally, I got to live independently in my own space, fending for my life for the first time, hosting parties, cooking for myself, going on first dates. And I've absolutely loved living in this space for the past couple of years and exploring Vancouver more. But as I embarked on more travels last year, I realized that I'm still in my 20s and settling down in Vancouver at this time in my life just didn't really feel right to me. I'm at a point in my life where I just feel kind of lost and I don't know where I want to live in the world. I don't know what I want to do with my life. And I'm so lucky to be able to have a job that allows me to work from anywhere in the world. And so I'm moving out. Oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. At this point, I only have two days to move out of here because my flight is in two days. Now, should I have started moving out earlier? Definitely yes. But, you know, what can you do, right? I mean, I could have started earlier, but at this point, what can you do, right? One second, let me make a Facebook Marketplace sale. Um, sure. You're probably wondering where I'm moving to. Sorry to say, but you're gonna have to stick to my next video to find out. But if I'm being so for real, like somebody probably already spoiled it in the comments, but I hope you'll stay through this process because I have a feeling it's gonna be fun and very chaotic because how else do I function? Like the fact that I'm moving out just as I finish decorating everything, but I also am 25 and I feel like this is the most chaotic time in my life. And I used to be so resistant to that, but I'm kind of just like, you know what? That's life. I've just accepted the chaos and I think it makes life more fun. And I think in the past, I would have been really worried about all the things that could go wrong, but I'm trying to have a more positive outlook on life. Like what if things go incredibly well? Like what if this move goes so well that I can finish in one day? Yeah, that, that's that's gaslighting myself. I also think it's so funny how I'm like, oh, I'm just accepting the chaos. Is this not something that you created? Like, is this not the consequences of your own actions? I'm acting like it's like, oh, it's just the cosmos like doing this to me. No, babes, like you did this to yourself. Like, stop acting like the stress is not self-inflicted. Um... Luckily, I don't have to move any of the furniture out because I'm actually renting out my condo furnished, but I still have to pack everything to take with me to this mystery location. And I'm going to be there for five months initially, but potentially longer, depending on how much I like it. I just really don't know where I want to live in the world right now. Ironically, as I get older, I actually feel younger. Like when I was in my early 20s, I felt so stressed because I felt so old compared to like teenagers. But now that I'm 25, I feel like a baby adult. I'm like, I'm just beginning to live this new era of my life and like I feel like the opportunities are endless And I think I was getting to this point where I was like, oh, no Like I have to have everything figured out now, but now I'm like I have so much time This is the time to be figuring things out This is the time to experiment make mistakes try new things because I don't want to live a life full of regrets I tend to get very anxious and in my head, but in my head nothing bad can happen But also nothing good can happen because it's not real life Wow. Right back to how it was literally one week ago. I got cold and I can't get sick. Well, I'm already sick. I think I used temporary vinyl. Okay, yeah, it's coming off. Oh, this is satisfying. Throughout this entire process, I've broken so many nails and then my gel nail fell off the, the last little bit of it. I'm like dwindling on the number of fingers that I can actually use to scrape this off. My dining room, my beautiful dining room that I, 
Man, I really wish I had completed this gallery wall a lot sooner because I think it looks so cute. But I do have to remember, like, it's not like I can't decorate spaces like this again. And wherever I move to, I can definitely do this. I just have to go thrifting. I do, for some reason, think that whenever I go thrifting, I always find the jackpot. But I do have to take these down because I also have to fill the holes that I put nails in. And then I have to wait for those to dry and then paint them. Oh, I'm really not looking forward to this because I'm so attached to this wall. Well, this is so painful. I also have to decide if I want to keep everything or not. I mean, I obviously love everything, but is it worth it to keep it stowed away and I potentially won't even like it anymore? sad oh my god it looks it, everything is just white like it just looks so sad and boring this makes me a little less sad about moving because i'm like oh i can just decorate a place to look like this again no but it is still sad i love i love this condo it's time to come out of the closet this is the least of what I was looking forward to. It's pure storage, not aesthetic. It's where all the dreams go to die. Actually, no. Without this space, I genuinely would have a much messier place. But now I have to find... Well, I actually don't know what most of it is. So I have to unpack everything. <laughs> and see if I want to donate stuff, want to sell stuff, or put it into storage. I kind of have to weigh the pros and cons, whether it's worth it to like pay for storage. I'm basically like paying interest on things I already own, or I could sell them, make a portion of it back, or I could just like donate it and like not have to worry about selling it and like making sure each item goes away, you know, that kind of thing. I'm gonna start up here, work from the top down. Ugh. I can't believe I lugged this all the way from LA to here and I never used it a single time. And I paid for like a year of storage in LA. Honestly, most of the stuff is still in storage and I don't even remember what I put in here. Oh my god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Jeez. I'm just a girl, I'm just a girl. What are these? Bedding, do I need these? Here's everything from my storage closet. It's definitely a lot more stuff than I now the storage closet is completely empty and it is quite huge. Now I'm realizing why it was so much easier to keep my apartment in check and like clean because I could just like shove all this stuff in my storage closet. I think past me would have been so like, oh, like I'm just being so lazy. Like I just shove everything in the storage closet. But now I'm like, you know what? Now I know that I am like this and that I need a large storage space to put stuff in. Okay, this is like kind of a side tangent. But a lot of the things that I think are bad about myself are just things that I need to realize that I need to like work around like accommodate myself rather than being like I wish I was in this way blah 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 like let's just find a solution so my solution is in the future I think I need to make sure I allocate space to put stuff in so that I don't get messy anyway yeah I don't even know where to start this is quite insane oi 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 okay I need a system okay number one stuff that I want to keep number two stuff that I want to get rid of slash sell slash donate and then well, I guess that's it. But the issue is depending on how much stuff and how large the stuff that I want to keep are, I might need to buy additional storage space to keep everything in as opposed to just like leaving everything at my parents' house because they also have limited storage. So I have to sort all this through and just see what I want to keep. Me being a hoarder, I want to keep everything. But my mom was like, you should be realistic. Like, is it worth it to buy a storage space for like $2,000 to keep stuff that's worth like $100, you know? You can always buy these things again if they're not super expensive or if they don't really mean that much like this plant do i really need to buy a two thousand dollar storage space to keep this plant probably not this one i actually think i do want to get rid of this is my first donate slash sell item hello it is the next day i'm wearing the same thing i'm already so overwhelmed by all of this like the thought of having to choose an outfit i can't do it so i went through some of the stuff and i came across the stuff that i kept from la when i hauled out in that u-haul and i think i'm having the same issue as before where i don't know what i want to keep which is why i put it in storage which was the easy way out but i have a bunch of bags this youtube backpack that i bought from when i went to coachella with youtube which was such a cool experience i obviously haven't used it it is a very sturdy backpack though so i think i'm gonna donate this should i keep it no no no, no. this is my donations box 
And then I have this backpack that I used to use in high school. I don't use it anymore, obviously, but I do really like it. Probably should just donate it because like I don't see myself using it again, but it's so sentimental Just looking at it makes my heart ache. But what does that mean? Does that mean keep or donate? Like I don't know. Does it spark joy? Yeah, it does. It actually sparks pain. Okay, maybe I should donate it. Ah, this is so painful. Okay, and then I have this Hello Kitty Herschel bag that I got from this Herschel event I went to in LA. It has this like Hello Kitty print on the inside. I actually really like this. I haven't used it because I forgot about it, but I definitely would use it actually. And it also came with this mini backpack. I used to be a huge fan of mini backpacks instead of purses, but I've been scarred. You know why. It also has the Hello Kitty print inside. I just think these are so cute and I really want to keep them. I feel like a lot of items that I end up finally selling or getting rid of, I've kept in storage for like years and years and every year I go through them like, oh, like I'm not ready to part. I think one day I keep it for long enough that I'm like, okay, I'm finally ready to part with it. It might not be the smartest thing because like eventually I'm going to get rid of it and I'm never gonna use it, but it's kind of the process that I just need to go through. Okay, and then I also have this Adidas mini backpack. This would be cute to turn into like a crossbody, but I have so many projects that I'm like, oh, I should thrift flip this, I should like redo this, blah, 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 and I never get to it. So I think this I'm actually gonna donate. Okay, so looks like I am going to keep these two. I also have listed a couple items on Facebook Marketplace. I think I lowballed myself because I was like, oh, nobody's gonna buy these. I haven't actually like sold anything before. Oh, they got scooped up real quick. So I'm selling this rug and the rug pad. And also I have a couple like electronics. I mean, I haven't received the money yet, but it feels so good. I'm like, I'm making money, even though it's like money that I've already spent, but I'm gonna ignore that, okay? This is girl math. I'm earning money. <laughs> God, this one is bad. I keep forgetting that I have this. It's my hair. I don't know why I still have this, but I'm like, what do I do with it? No, I think it's finally time to throw it out. The fact that I love this all the way from LA to here, kept it in storage for like two years is insane. And like, what did I think I was gonna do with it? Nah, okay, that's, can I donate that? The thing is I keep thinking I'm going to donate it, but I never do. Okay, I should actually look into donating this. Will they take that? Girl, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna start packing up some boxes of stuff I want to actually keep, which includes one. Are these clothes I wanna donate? I think so. Perfect, donation clothes. I'm like really heavy. Maybe put it over here. Oh, okay. Why? Holy shit! <laughs> Why is this so heavy? It is not breaking. Should we just dust it off and then sweep out what we get? Yeah, 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 right, you're right, you're right. Okay. It's not like actually dirt, it's just like stuff on top. Guys, look how empty it is now. I'm making my friend Sabrina do labor for me. <laughs> And she wouldn't even let me pay for her dinner. I'll cook something for you. Or I will make my new boyfriend <laughs> cook for you. Have you watched the other Zoe? But the main guy, you know Drew Stark. Drew Starkey. Yeah. Like my like my celebrity. I know. Drew Starkey. <laughs> the one who was on this couch, Drew Starkey. <laughs> Alexa, play upgraded on Prime. Well, what is that? It's a baby. Why is there a baby on my TV? <laughs> Time to pack. So I'm gonna remove everything from my closet and into the living room so my friend Sabrina can help me choose because I'm so indecisive. So I was like, can you come over and help me? She's like, of course, girl, I got you, I got you. Is that what she sounds like? No. I'm planning on bringing three suitcases, two checked and one carry-on. I feel like that should be ample, but I am packing for like three different seasons. Hold up. And rich. 
Oh, you know the Sabrina <laughs> Carpenter boots? Should I bring those? Remember, no Do one wear them. Friend, I've never worn it before, <laughs> but I like just bought them. I bought the white ones and the black ones. Oh, <laughs> let's deal with shoes okay, later. Okay, okay, let's okay. get through this first. Go, go. He is also really attractive. Oh, the oh, oh! Dude, I want for once in my life for a man to give me his jacket. Make it happen. Go out wearing nothing. Downton Abbey is crazy. Oh! <laughs> Wait! He said, I'm not Downton Abbey. I'm a Bridgerton. Oh! Oh! They said, we're just gonna bring you to various London locations. Just and make out of a hot guy. So at first I only had my shirts in the suitcases and I was like, oh, I have so much space. And then I realized I didn't bring any pants. So I temporarily have all my pants in the suitcases. If I'm being honest, I only wear like three pairs of pants on rotation. So I think I'll be okay. Although, mm, no, but I have to pack for three seasons. My method for organization is like, I'm just folding everything up like bookshelves. Cause when I get there, I actually don't have a place to stay yet. Yeah, it's really not ideal. So I don't know how many days I'm gonna be living out of a suitcase. So I want everything to be like kind of organized in case I do have to live out of my suitcase for a while. Wow, look at that cloud jacket. Hey, look at you. Final meal, well not final meal, but pretty final, pretty final. Mm. That's good. That was really fun. But then I was like, this is my first and last party. Like, I should just invite everyone I know. Sabrina Carpenter boots. No, I mean, like, I've tried them on, but I've never, like, worn them out. I feel like it would be kind of dangerous for a night out, too, oh, if I'm little. drunk. Like, that's an ankle hazard. Yeah. It's more so, like, for a performance or something. Loafers. Chunky sandals. So I'm the most gigantic hockey fan and I was not going to leave Vancouver before seeing one last hockey game, especially because the Canucks are actually good this year. Like, wow, the one year that I'm actually not going to be here for the playoffs, like they're going to be at the playoffs. Anyway, I had my Canucks popcorn bucket ready to go. I took my dad. We had such a fun time. He was helping me pack. So I just wanted to like thank him by taking him to the game. Unfortunately, we did lose, but we still had a fun time. Canucks for the Stanley Cup this year! I'm back home. I'm getting ready for bed for the last time in my condo. I'm using this bathroom because the other one is completely empty. And I also packed away all of my skincare stuff in my suitcase that my dad drove away. I just found some like rogue skincare laying around. I'm just gonna use that. But I'm like honestly pretty sad to be leaving. It's been an interesting day. I'm also having a hard time because it feels like I'm leaving my parents. Recently, it's been kind of like a back and forth struggle of being like, oh, I'm young, I should go out and explore and try new things. But at the same time, like my parents are getting older and I want to spend as much time as I can with them. But like the thought of my parents getting older is like just... So then sometimes I feel bad when I like go on my travels because I'm like, oh, I should be staying and like hanging out with them. But I know that they wouldn't want me to hold myself back for them.
but I look so Victoria's Secret model right now. I'm in the last stages of cleaning. I really am like so running late, but I wanted to show you that even after my housewarming where I forced everyone to take home Red Bulls, I still have more. If you remember, when I moved in, they sent me this gigantic package of Red Bulls because I was just beginning my Red Bull drinking phase and I'm also obsessed with F1, but I really did not think that it would take me this long to drink all of them. Oh my god. Please. I think that's it. Anyone want one? And then I still have all these dishes in here. Oh, what do I do? I'm getting stressed. I'm getting stressed. I might have to just raw dog it. I feel like if I don't drive too fast, it shouldn't break. The past two years dealing with this condo has been such an up and down roller coaster of a journey. At one point I was like, it's been like so many disasters one after the other. And then when I finally finished everything and moved in, I was like, wow, this is so nice to like live on my own and like have my own actual space for the first time in my life. And now that I'm at the end of it, I am feeling a lot of different emotions. I feel like it really launched the beginning of my adulting era. And yeah, I just like have so many good memories here. I've had a lot of growth here. I feel like the space has changed as I have changed. I just feel like I've put a lot of myself into this condo and whoever lives in it next, I hope that they appreciate it and who knows what adventures await. I'm really excited about this. At the same time, I am mourning the end of an era. I don't know, I'm still processing. Like, I can't believe this is happening really, truly. I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I hope that my next chapter is even more exciting and I hope you guys will follow along. So let's say goodbye to this condo chapter and hello to my next one. See you soon.